<laughs> Hello everyone, how is everyone doing in this match out there? Today, we are playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Alright guys, we're going to be testing how smart you guys are, alright? Everyone comment right now, telling me how old you guys are, alright? And we will see if uh, you are smarter than, you know, a fifth grader. I don't know what that is, even 10 years old, I think. Oh, hello everyone, welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? We've picked five kids to play alongside you. I am Melissa. Hi, I'm Jeremy. Hello. Hi, I'm William. <laughs> Hi, I'm Elizabeth. <laughs> hey, I'm Julian. All right, guys, we have to answer dumb baby questions, all right, to prove that I'm smart, okay? And these stupid dumb kids are going to help me uh, with my answers. All right, well, first, we're going to pick on Jeremy. Hi, I'm Jeremy. All right, so these are all the topics that we can choose. All right, so let's start off with something simple, guys. All right, let's go to first grade uh, grammar. All right, how's your grammar, guys? <laughs> I read the comment section, guys. It, it's it's awful. All right, what is the subject of Frank sent me to the store to get some cheese? What is the subject? Is it cheese, <laughs> store, uh, me, or Frank? What? The subject? <laughs> I don't know, and I'm running out of time. Uh, the store? Um, select. What? Incorrect. What was it? The correct answer was Frank. Frank? What do you mean, subject? <laughs> I'm so dumb and stupid. Oh, you are not smarter than a fifth grader. I'm sorry. Okay, your total money was zero. Oh, thanks for playing. <laughs> you stupid dumbass kid didn't help me at all. All right. I'm sorry, guys. All right, I don't know what subjects means in grammar and shit. God damn it. I, I, I am stupid. All right, guys, it's not my fault. All right, that dumbass stupid kid didn't know his shit. All right, he was meant to save my ass. All right, so let's try uh, using, I don't know, Tina. Don't worry, I'm smart, Brandon. Okay, so let's do general science for a first grader. So this is a six-year-old. Six-year-old general science. All right, come on, we got this. What type of food are cashews? Oh, are they protein, oil, vegetables, or fruit? Wait, I thought it was a nut. No, no, it's protein, right? Nuts are protein, I'm pretty sure. Correct, you got the right answer. Well done. You did it, well done, yeah. Okay, choose your next category. Oh, all right. Now, let's pick general math. All right, six-year-old general math. Come on, guys. The red team has five people. The blue team has four people. How many more people does the red team have? Come on, guys. All right. So, uh, five minus four is... Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, oh, it, it's one, guys. Uh, one, right? Uh, correct. Yeah, we did it. I'm so smart, yeah. Wow, you're so good at math. I know I'm good at math. Yeah, I'm bloody Indian. Of course I bloody am. All right, now we get to pick our next classmate. We will pick Chelsea. Hi, I'm Chelsea. Shut the shit up, Chelsea. All right, let's pick seven-year-old art and music. Come on now. All right, it's art and music. I don't know shit about art and music, but it's for a seven-year-old. Come on, I got this. What emotion do people think of... With warm colors? Uh, what? Uh, warm colors. It's not it, comfort or it, uh, detachment. Oh, shit. Uh, comfort. <laughs> no. It was optimism, wasn't it? God damn it. Oh, I'm sorry, but you are stupid. But if Chelsea got it right, you will still be in the game. Oh, come on, Chelsea. All right, you better get this right, you stupid bitch. Um, is it sadness? Sadness? No, it's not sadness. Ah, oh, incorrect. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, but Chelsea is just as stupid as you. It was optimism. What the shit? How much? How am I supposed to know that? Oh, you are not smarter than a fifth grader. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Wow, I just started this video and I just realized how stupid I am. All right, we got some new stupid kids. Uh, maybe they will help me uh, not uh, suck at this game. Okay, look at Houston. All right, Houston over there looks like this bloody nerd. All right, he'll, he'll get the right answer. Oh, he picked me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pick world geography for a six-year-old. Come on, guys. All right, I know my geography, okay? What European culture inspired the ukulele? Ukulele, ukulele. Uh, is it Slovakian, German, uh, English, or the Portuguese? Um, I don't know, actually. Uh, I want to guess... The Portuguese. No, it's the Slovakian. No, the Portuguese. Oh, I got it right. Oh! God damn it, Portuguese people always playing the uh, ukulele. <laughs> All right, next category. Let's pick general English for a six-year-old. What is the abbreviation in the magic book told me to go to the alteration avenue? Huh? Is it av for avenue? Abbreviation? Oh, it's correct. Oh, oh you 
are smarter than you look, you dumb shit. We didn't even need stupid Houston. All right, come on now, Elizabeth. All right, don't get this one wrong. All right, we're going to do seven-year-old life and science slash health. The upper layer of skin protects what other part of your skin? Uh, the marrow, dermis, the hair, or the lymph? What? The upper layer of skin protects what other part of your skin? I don't know. The marrow? <laughs> no, the marrow's the bone, right? The dermis? Marrow? Shit, I got it wrong, you piece of shit, dumbass. Oh, it's okay, Brandon. We know you didn't get that one right, but uh, Elizabeth might get it right. Uh, I'm not sure this is right. Is it the dermis? Correct, yes! The dermis. I, I knew it was the dermis, guys. I was I was going to say that. I, I Honestly, I was. I was just testing you guys. <laughs> All right, we're still in the game, guys. All right, now we're going to do seven-year-old measurements. <laughs> measurements is how we measure things. Uh, yeah, obviously. True or false, a meter is longer than a yard. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't know what the hell a yard even is. All right, who the hell knows what yards are? But I'm pretty sure a meter is longer than a yard. So I'm going to say true. Correct, yeah. That's right, guys. See? <laughs> I'm not so stupid, am I? <laughs> okay, guys, we're still in the game. Come on now. I've got to take home my money. All right, next, we're going to pick on stupid dumb Jeremy. Pick me, Brandon. All right, we're going to do eight-year-old history. Come on now. All right, like an eight-year-old is going to know more about history than me. Which country initially colonized the New York area? Uh, the Portuguese, French, British, or Dutch? Uh, I'm <laughs> pretty sure it, it wasn't the French, right? It was the British. <laughs> know anything about american history oh shit i really don't know anything about history wow okay guys just i'm i'm sorry it was the dutch the dutch uh i don't what what <laughs> i'm out no guys why am i so stupid all right guys we gotta start again all right but i am determined to win this game. All right, six-year-old geometry slash graphing. Which shape best describes a TV screen? A pentagon, a circle, a rectangle, or triangle? Well, guys, all right, I I'm pretty sure we're all watching this on rectangles right now, so I'm gonna say rectangle. Well done, you know what a rectangle is. I knew you could do it, Brandon. All right, don't sass me, you stupid shitty man. All right, next we're gonna do six-year-old general math. In the movie line, Tim is in front of Anna. Jill is behind Tim and Anna. Dave is behind Jill. Who gets their ticket second? What? <laughs> okay, so Tim is in front of Anna, so it uh, goes Anna, Tim, but Jill is behind Tim and Anna, so it goes uh, uh, <laughs> Tim, Anna. Okay, I'm going to say uh, <laughs> Anna. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Yay. Oh, you did it, Brandon, with one second to spare. Holy crap. All right, man, I feel sorry for kids, all right, having to know these dumbass, stupid questions. All right, come on, Chelsea, I'm relying on you. It's okay. All right, we're going to do seven-year-old spelling, guys. I don't know how to spell. All right, so uh, Chelsea, you better help me out. What is the right spelling of the currency of Australia? Uh, 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 it's dollar, but I'm pretty sure it has two L's. Unless the Australians do it differently. I don't know. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we got it right. Yeah. All right, next is seven-year-old U.S. geography. If you were to raft down the Rio Grande from its source in the Rockies, where would you end up? Oh, my God. I don't know anything about stupid American shit. Uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, um, okay. Well, uh. Wow. Wow, you sure know your stuff. Well done. Yeah, sure. I didn't guess or anything. <laughs> uh. All right, Tina. Stupid Tina, Tina Bobina. Thanks, Brandon. All right, next we're going to do eight-year-old operations. What the hell? What, what, why are eight-year-olds learning about operations? In each month, we're to have the same amount of days as July. How long would a year be? Um, I don't know. July has how many days? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> July has 31 days. It's 365. Five, go! No! All right, come on, Tina. Come on, Tina. You better get it right. Is it 372? Uh, is it? Yeah, it's correct. Yay! I did it. I told you I'll get it right, Brandon. Oh, she did. <laughs> okay, seriously, they give me like 20 seconds 
to answer the damn question. And I spent about half of it reading out the damn question. All right, anyway, forget it. Uh, let's do eight-year-old animal science, sure. Where does a manta ray live? A manta ray? I don't know what the hell's a manta ray? Is it the ocean? It can't be... Uh, it could be a river or a lake. I don't know. <laughs> a manta ray. The ocean. Why not? Hey, you got it right. Well done. It's the ocean. Wow. Okay. I got it right. We're still in the game, guys. Come on. We're this close to winning. All right, guys. We got to now pick our next classmate. Let's pick stupid Claire. All right. We're going to do nine-year-old astronomy. What the hell does a nine-year-old know about astronomy? Comets that orbit the sun every 200 years or more are called what? Um, Perepopsis? Perihelion? Long period? <laughs> oh no. Okay, I have thingy, uh, so I can peek at their answer. You have chosen to look at a stupid young girl's answer. Let's hope it's right. All right, she thinks it's called long period. Uh, okay. I is it right then? <laughs> no. Uh, sure. Hey, it's correct. Well done. I got it right, Brian, and I got it. All right, guys, we are this close from finishing. Okay, now we're going to do art and music. New York place hosts in the muse to the Museum of Modern Art, the Guggenheim and what other museum? Uh the National Gallery of Art, the the Getty Center? Me I don't <laughs> I don't know. Okay, copy her answer. You have decided to copy your stupid girl's answer. Let's hope she's right. She thinks it's the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Is it right? It's correct. Well done. Oh my god. What the hell, guys? All right, how <laughs> how is she saving my ass? I don't know. All right, guys, come on now. We're going to take home all the money. Jesse, you better not fail me. All right, we're going to do 10-year-old grammar. Why not? What is the Latin affix in amplify? The Latin uh, affix, uh, affix, uh, amplify, uh, am, amplify, fi, am, amplify. I'm fly uh, the F. <laughs> oh, I got it right. Oh! Wow, turns out guessing can get you a million dollars. All right, guys, the next question is for one million dollars. We're going to do 10 year old vocabulary. <laughs> Great. Which word does not mean the same as the word uh, uh, anal? Anal. No, anal. Uh, anal. Invalidate, imprison, cancel, or obliterate. Uh, uh, in prison? <laughs> no, or was it? No, it's it's prison. <laughs> oh, I got it right! Yeah, it's one more question, and you get a million dollars. Holy shit, guys! All right, the next question is worth one million. I can either drop out now and leave with half a million, but come on now. All right, we gotta go for the one million. We're gonna do Earth and. Physical science. What? You have chosen the final question. You better pay attention. Plants and organic materials compressed over eons become what kind of fuel? What? Plants and organic materials? Charcoal? <laughs> Nuclear fuels? Biofuels or fossil fuels? I don't know. <laughs> okay, it's not. It, 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 it's biofuels. Right? 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 No! I'm sorry, but that is the wrong answer. The correct answer is fossil fuels. God damn it. I was gonna guess fossil fuels, but I, I just I just changed my mind last second. God damn it. Oh, you are not smarter than a fifth grader. Sorry. But at least you are going home with $25,000. Oh, $25,000. Yay. Thank you for that. Okay, guys. So turns out I am not smarter than a 10 year old, but don't lie to me. You didn't get any of these questions right. If you did, leave a like, all right? That's how you know not everyone got it right, all right? Because this video should have at least like a million likes right now, are you right? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to end the video there. Shout out to myself.com if you want to get the plushie or the book. Either way, though, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.